So uh, Isaiah Rashad was trending recently. He was inhaling a few cocks on Twitter. Apparently, a nigga's running a train on his mouth. Um, he's gay. He's gay. I think. Well, uh, I'm gonna just say allegedly because who knows? These days we're so confused. Like that, this nigga could be like, no, he just sucks dick in his spare time. I don't know. You, like these days, bro, I just can't call it. You know what I mean? He might just be like, he was gay. Now he, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, it was exposed, and I guess someone exposed, and one of his lovers exposed that. You know what I mean? He was gargling up semen, and um, <clears throat> people were reacting to it. Um. Should I be politically correct or should I just like be real? Let me be politically correct first. I'm glad that he could finally be himself. Oh, however, I'm sad that it took someone else kicking him out the closet for him to be real. Um Yeah. That's that that's so I can say to be politically correct. I'll be real now though. Uh, let me just be honest with y'all. You see all these niggas in TDE who been saying they got issues with this, this, and third? I think now we're seeing the fucking truth. These niggas got issues maybe with themselves, okay? Again, um, I, I don't want to be someone who's trying to force somebody out the closet or something like that, but if you're not old, if you're not living your full and true self, you know, sometimes the music and also the imagery and all these other things, if you got to live separate lives, it's not going to be congruent. So a lot of times we're like, yo, why top dog don't do this? Why top dog don't do that? Maybe some of the artists, they're on some other shit. And we just have to admit that. You know, he could be a phenomenal rapper all he wants, but like, listen, you know, part of rap is actually, you know, bearing your soul. That's part of art, expression, artistry. And um, the mere fact we got to find this out from a grainy footage. Well, actually, I didn't even, did, did y'all watch it? Like, I, I clicked on it and I seen a thumbnail and trust me, I was there. So, um, yeah, you know, now let me be honest. And I see a lot of people on, oh my God, you know, who cares, blah, blah. Trust me, rap care. And uh, like, this is where the whole little rap, like rap these days been, 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 been like the, the, these little talking points getting so pussy, but like, you know, people going to, how they going to act, bro. Like I get it. He's not like a gangster rapper or like that, but trust me, bro. Lil Nas X didn't fucking break the mold that everybody loves homosexual rappers. Okay? That nigga is funny enough. He's charismatic enough. He's singing. He has this whole other audience that's just not um, urban people that usually like rap. And he's winning. Congrats to him. Isaiah Rashad, again, this is not me saying I'm not going to fucking support him or whatever the case is. This is me just speaking on the current climate. I just don't think that people are going to give him the fair shot that he should be afforded based on his rapping skills now. Okay? Y'all could sit in this fairy tale world and be like, oh my God, no, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be judging him off a video of him sucking some cocks. You know what I mean? Who cares if he was inhaling some semen? Who cares if he was guzzling some you know like listen, I'm I'm I get it. Y'all want this ideal world, but rap is still based off certain shit. The mere fact that rap embraces the streets that have fucked up ideals and usually it is based on doing violence and peddling poison to a community. The mere fact that rap and hip hop embraces that don't act like rap is some holistic thing that because now that you have been exposed to suck some penises, it's going to exalt you and give you the, the, the same respect or more to succeed. No. If this nigga not funny enough to turn this storyline around, I don't see a lot of people rocking with them as they will. Okay, I'm sorry to say, gotta just be honest. All right, now y'all can live in this fairy tale world and be like, no, it's just all about the music. Yeah, all right. it's all about the music till you find out that six nine snitched. It's all about the music till you realize the motherfucker got his chain snatched. It's all about the music until you find out about these all these intangible shit that we do give a fuck about. Okay, so. The mere fact that he was inhaling a bunch of penisaurus rexes on video, you are going to judge him. I'm sorry. I know these are, oh, my God, no, we shouldn't. You guys are, hey, this is rap, okay? This is rap, and this is rap and hip-hop, 
and people praise drug dealers and killers. Those aren't really upstanding, you know what I mean, individuals in the community. Don't think they're going to be all the way accepting of this guy. And especially, he might not be there yet, you know, mentally in accepting the fact that the world is going to see him as a homosexual man. You know, I mean, if he was going to be accepting of that, he would have probably outed himself in a more, you know, um, um, preferential fashion. Um, I don't know, maybe a thematic album, something like that. Like, ain't Tyler created gay? Like, that nigga was talking about getting fucked like in you know, some flower boy shit. Like, who don't, like, bruh. You know what I mean? But he did in a way that was artistic. Actually, he did in a way, I don't even know if he gay or straight. You know what I mean? But I've never seen him with a woman. So, you know, he did in a cool way. So, like, people like that. You know what I mean? Like, he's the flower boy. You know what I mean? Like, he was, you know, whatever was going on over there. You get me? But this dude right here, trust me, like, the way he was outed, he was just fucking just... This nigga just got a fucking um, 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 RKO and just tossed out the fucking closet like Jazzy Jeff out of the Fresh Prince Mansion. So I don't think a lot of people are going to feel that sympathy unless maybe he has like a personality. You could be like, yo, nah, fuck it. And like, yo, I'm not forcing anything or that's not my agenda. This and third. I don't know. Maybe you could flip it around, but I don't know. 